Yo, what's going on everyone? I'm coming at you with another video. I know, pretty crazy. It's a 1v1 tier list. Hell yeah! Now, firstly, you may be asking, but, but Blitz, I thought you hated 1v1 tier lists. Well, yes, but there is a simple reason why I am making this video. Money. <clears throat> I mean, uh, to clarify some misconceptions people may have. Dual tier lists are a lot different from 2v2 tier lists and 4v4 tier lists, because as you improve at the game, the more 2v2 tier lists and 4v4 tier lists start to make sense. But, dual tier lists at the top level cater around reactions in terms of matchups, so no matter how good you get, if you are on console or you don't have a reaction time in the top 1%, a lot of placements won't really ever apply to the majority of people. But, plenty of people still take these tier lists as gospel simply because a top player made them, even if the placements will never apply to them. Freeze made a video about this, and I will put the link to it in the description, but I wanted to make this video just to show some of the placements are different if you cannot react to things. And after that, I would get some of the best console players to help me make a tier list that actually applies to the highest level of play without reactions being a primary factor. Let's begin. This is what a top console tier list would look like, and this is still the top level of play, it's just without so much reaction based matchups in mind. Now, it does look a lot different, see, compared to like PC tier list where you see Warlord in B tier, you see BP in B tier, this tier list has bash characters far higher up, and that's because bash characters are very good from neutral, being able to control the fight and not let their opponent get into into their offense, but also get into their offense at the same time. Warlord is very high because he maintains frame advantage and has a very, very good GB punish, so him from neutral is very, very strong. You may also be asking, why is Shaman and Armusha so low when they're S tier on PC tier lists? And it's because when more characters have offense, these characters' offense from neutral especially starts to diminish quite a bit. Armusha is very punishable. If he does ring the bell, that's a free GB if you dodge it, and overall he's just very good defensively but isn't as good offensively as a lot of the characters above him without reactions in mind, which a lot of people aren't going to be able to pull off. 